it is that time again, it is the monthly favourites and today I have got my May favourites for you and May is always a really nice month for me because it's my birthday which has been and gone sadly but yeah I always love May and it's a bit sad because I haven't got that many things to show you this month but I always like to be honest with you and I'm not just going to pick loads of things just for the sake of a video so let's just keep it short and sweet and let's go so a new purchase this month which I have really been enjoying and I'm actually wearing it today so that you kind of get a bit of a grasp of what it is and it is the Barry M Jelly High Shine Nail Paint in Sugar Apple and I was a, well still am, a big fan of the Essie Mint Candy Apple but it wasn't quite hitting the spot for me and I saw my friend Megan wearing this one and I just really liked it. I think it's that bit more pastely and more greeny than um, SC Mint Candy Apple so that is why I personally prefer this one at the moment but I do still have a little bit of an issue with Barry M's formula for some reason I just find it chips really quickly and it peels off and I don't know if it's just my nails or what but that's what I personally feel always happens with a Barry M one but overall for £4 or £3 I can't remember one of those it is definitely worth it and it's a really pretty colour for spring and summer so check that out I'm going to go with this one next because it isn't that exciting but it is an essential and this month my cheeks here got a little bit sore and really sort of dry. This has happened to me before but I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if I caught the sun a little bit or whether sort of a bit of my makeup was reacting with my cheeks or something, I don't know. But I needed something to sort that out and my normal everyday moisturiser is Origins Jingzing and that wasn't quite sort of giving me enough moisture. Um, I thought I needed something a bit more thickening and sort of rich. So I asked on Twitter for some of your recommendations and quite a few of you said the simple replenishing rich moisturiser. Now this isn't fancy or anything, this was literally like £4 and I don't go big on skincare and like because my skin is normally not that dry I thought I would just buy a cheap one for now. And this has actually really helped sort out those dry patches so I have been lathering this on at night just to make sure that they sort of go away and I'm back to a sort of more moisture. And yeah, I would really recommend this if you have dry skin. And it doesn't smell too funny either. And for £4, I think it is a really good bargain. And this one is a little bit funny. Oh, you just got a sneak preview. And I have really been trying to make my hair look a little bit nicer. I don't know why, but I just find it goes frizzy and it just doesn't look that great. And a couple of times this month, I have tried to take a bit longer with my hair, especially the drying part. I always use a hairdryer, which I know is bad, but... If I don't, it goes all lank and horrible. So I have tried, I've bought this ages ago because I wanted to try it back then, but I've been trying to blow dry my hair properly. And I should have left my hair down today to kind of show you guys, but basically when it's wet, I just section my hair off into two and then I just use the... Now, I'm just going to say I'm rubbish with hair, okay? So don't think this is confusing or anything, but I just hold the hair dryer hold this, I think it's that way around, and then I just pull out my hair like this whilst I hair dry and I find this not only gives it really good volume but it makes it soft and look silkier and yeah just generally I really like my hair when I have been using this and taking a bit more time I mean it probably does damage your hair a little bit but I haven't been doing it majorly loads so if you have time to do that and I wish I had more time to do that then yeah it's a really nice way to do your hair. I think I probably got this brush in Superdrug or Boots and I don't think they're too expensive so I'll put that in the box below for you guys. I'm going to go with sort of a pair next and you might already be sick of hearing about this but it is a new launch by Benefit and I was really lucky enough to go to the launch of this and it is the new Their Real Push Up Liner and this is basically a gel formula in a pen form and um, I will show you but it is a pen flexible rubber nib and the idea of this is that it's easy to use, it stays on a long time and it just has a lot of benefits compared to many different eyeliners and I'm rubbish with eyeliner, I normally just use eyeshadow so when I heard about this I got quite excited and the first thing I did was I went and broke one of the pens which is really bad and I was really stupid and I pulled off the lid but don't do that, screw, I wasn't listening properly 
so yeah don't do that but I have really been liking this and I think it is really easy I do think that sometimes the benefits of this are also the negatives which I would say it is extremely sort of pigmented so as soon as you put it on your eye that's it so if you make a mistake then you're pretty screwed hence the next one that I'm going to talk about which is their their real remover which has been made to be work on their real products as well as the mascara and this does work a real treat with this but because it is so sort of strong and probably quite potent it does make your eyes a little bit sore but for the benefit of getting this off it is really really good and that is I really like these two together obviously so yeah I have loved this for like the ease of it and I really like the formula of it because I really like gel I don't like liquid so really great but I mean it is a bit annoying that you kind of have to get this or just sort of struggle with like normal eye makeup remover but a cream would probably work a lot better than a micellar solution so bear that in mind but I do think this is a real gem and I think this is going to get big and I think it is going to be really popular because it is so easy to use unfortunately I'm still not a pro and I am still practicing that flick but hopefully I'll get there but yeah this is really one to look out for and the next one is quite an unusual one for me I have always been the type of girl that has one perfume that you get it for birthday or Christmas and it's just one of those sort of special things but I'm starting to build up a bit of a collection now because I thought it'd be nice to have a few different ranges of scents and I had heard quite a few things about the next range of perfume so I thought for the sake of how much it is, which I'll get onto, I thought it was well worth to give it a go. So I went for the next Just Pink, and I don't know what the next bit says, I think it's Low, Leo, Low, I don't know, sorry. But this is really, really nice, and I have really been enjoying this. This bottle here, which is a 30ml, cost me £7.50, okay? And this isn't an eau de toilette, it's an eau de parfum. Um, so it is much more long lasting than a normal eau de toilette and I feel like I can still smell this at the end of the day I would have to sort of spruce this quite a few times throughout the day to really smell by the end of the day but this is an amazing product and the only thing is the one that I went into didn't have testers so I literally just had to go on what it said on the box and just pick it but I thought for 7 50 it shouldn't be too bad but there's quite a lot of different ones the normal just pink is meant to be really nice and there's quite a few others as well so really worth checking out I think and I think the 100ml bottles are about £12 so it is really good value for money and I have really been enjoying this and I think the bottle is also so cute and I was saying to Dan that I don't know how they make their money because I think the bottle alone is worth £7.50 so yeah that is really pretty let me know if you tried any of the next perfumes before that is actually me done for today and I feel like I whizzed through that slash talk way too fast and way too much but I hope I didn't and I hope you liked it if you did please like and subscribe as usual if you want to see my current non-beauty favourites that was actually my last video which I did with Meg's Boutique so please go and check that out I'll leave a link in the box below and yes, I will see you again soon. And my next video is going to be something quite special and exciting. So make sure you are subscribed to see that. Thank you guys. Bye.